Yeah, I got into franchising quite interestingly. It actually sort of fell into my lap, quite honestly. Um, my background's in higher education and in sales, where I previously worked at an education company. And I was supporting bachelor, master, and PhD level students start their education and their college careers. So really my love resides in education and giving back and helping and supporting people who actually need that extra push and motivation to start accomplishing their goals that they've set for themselves. And really I had a, a good friend and a colleague of mine who had started with Sylvan and started in franchising and really talked it up, told me all of the wonderful things I needed to understand and learn. And she encouraged me to apply for this job. And, and here I am six years later, I've been in the franchising field with Sylvan and it's been, it's been really great. There's so much to love about the franchising industry, not just franchising and education, but franchising, there's such a comfort in really knowing that you're working with a strong network of individuals who really are doing the exact same thing that you're doing. So I think you can really learn a lot from franchisees. And I really like to be able to see someone that I've personally worked with um, really just thrive as a franchise owner. You know, you, you have so many conversations with so many different people who are interested in the fields, but Whenever you get somebody across that line and they're really successful and they're happy and, you know, a year later, maybe they're expanding and starting a new franchise. It's such a really rewarding feeling. So um, that's really what I love about being in the industry, seeing the people that I've worked with thrive and do so much better. Uh, what makes someone a good fit for the franchise industry? I think is doing their best to be able to listen to the needs and the questions of the people who they're having conversations with, uh, addressing all of their concerns and really being that consistent source of information to your customer. You want them to feel, you know, they can ask you anything. So what I try to do is remember the little things about their life, their family, the vacations that they've recently gone on so that I can really understand how their day to day works. And then I can help shed a little bit of light into how this new business opportunity is really just going to fit within their lifestyle so that they can be, you know, feel really good about what they're doing and give back to their community. So I think that's really what makes someone a good fit is someone who is has the ability just to listen to people and, and be um, a little bit more introspective than perspective. This industry's comeback from the pandemic has been really strong, quite honestly, especially in the education fields. I think people feel safe with a franchise. There's there's some comfort in knowing that there's a proven business model for entrepreneurs to follow. Um, and there's really renewed consumer interest in the supplemental education field because of the pandemic. So we are seeing people that are about two years behind the kids in school right now. So I think families are really going to be looking for um, a good alternative for their children to be able to receive educational support outside of the school system. And that's really where Sylvan comes in handy to save these kids and their parents who really don't know where to go or where to receive that additional uh, learning support. Some great advice for some new up and comers in the space is to seek professional development and mentorship whenever possible. Um, in an industry, it's quite easy to become complacent, really in any industry, but having someone who is tenured, who you can trust, um, either inside or outside of your company to be able to share your experiences with, whether they're good or bad, I think is really, really important for, for, a, lot of, uh, for a lot of people right now. And whenever you're dealing with changes in a company, trying to find a healthy work-life balance, or even if you're really struggling with a difference of opinion internally, I think it's healthy to be able to have some outside perspective from someone who really uh, understands the industry and can give their unbiased opinion, someone who can provide you with some clarity and resolve. Um, because right now I think it's it's hard in, in any industry to be able to be consistent. So just finding someone who you can talk to, who you can lean on for support. You know, in franchising, there's quite a lot of highs, you know, whenever there are people who are just getting started and they're doing really well and they're excited and things are going great and they're expanding, things are great. But you know, there is also the other side of things where sometimes franchisees take on a little bit more than they think that they can handle. And you never want someone to close, but it can be a little stressful, especially on the franchisee and the franchisor. So I think having someone who you can lean on so that you don't feel so discouraged in those challenging times is something that I personally have, have really benefited from, not just 
throughout these last handful of months throughout the pandemic, but also throughout my entire franchise.